residents and business owners close to the Kolebu Midway Free Training School in Accra are now relieved from air pollution. A dump site far in, uh, emanated huge volumes of smoke for three weeks in the area. For three weeks, the entire vicinity was engulfed in smoke. Residents and business owners expressed concern about the health and economic implications. A fire tender deployed to doubt the fire could not, and authorities resorted to using sand. We are using the, the salt from the Kole Lagoon once again to cap the plates and then compress it. By so doing, we'll be able to quench the fire. Three weeks later, the situation has been controlled. Few weeks back, three things you could not do here, stand here, breathe here, or even see clearly because the entire community was engulfed in smoke as a result of the dumping site that was set on fire. After constant report, authorities came in to survey the situation and the fire has been put off and the smoke is gone. The dredging equipment deployed to spread the sand is still on site with traces of dull's fire while scavengers busily go through the debris. Nicholas, a resident, told me in Tree they can now enjoy the comforts of their homes. Business owners who ply their trade along the stretch sank the same chorus. Chief Executive of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, Mohamed Ni Ej Soa, revealed future plans for the site. We quickly convened um, um, a MESEC meeting for further deliberation on, on this matter. I met with the police. I've also met with the fire service. MP for Ablekuma South, Alfred Oko van der Poy, emphasized the need for regulatory enforcement against poor sanitation practices. We make sure that we work with the central police and the Kolibu police so that the boys who continue to uh, bend the ties so that we will continue to arrest them to arrest the situation. Residents are excited because they cannot live in peace without worrying about any respiratory diseases that the smoke could bring them. Well, this is evident that indeed TV got results. Grace Hamwa Sari, TV3 News, Kolibu, Accra.